Hi everyone, welcome back my little green birds. It is I, Greenbird555, and thank you for tuning back into my channel. So today is a, a little different and it's a, um, something that I have never done before, which is doing like a mini little haul, I guess. So to just dive right into it, I went to Target the other day and um, I got a bunch of products that I have never tried before. Because you all know that I, my major go-to is Jack Black. So my little haul is going to be based on Harry's. So Harry's is a, so it's a shaving company basically. So um, I'm going to be going over these products, okay? And I'm going to test them out to see how they feel on my skin, okay? Um, I'm going to test out the razor, everything, like you name it, okay? So I'm going to go through each item one by one. So obviously that one item was obviously the blade it comes with, um, well actually it's the, it's the handle so it comes with two cartridges and I got it in navy blue. So yes, um, I'm going to be trying out the shave gel with aloe and you guys are probably like, oh you mentioned that you're allergic to aloe. Okay so in terms of that, I'm only allergic to the product if the main ingredient Ha is predominantly aloe so if it was like 45% aloe I'd be like oh my god I can't I can't deal um there would be no way and by the way um we are starting off this video first thing in the morning um I want to say I've been up since maybe five o'clock just editing um and doing photoshop or whatever so I haven't washed my face I haven't shaved it so this is the way how I want people to feel like I am able to connect with them because I'm literally getting ready. But I did brush my teeth beforehand and I got my coffee um, at one of my favorite coffee shops in Marin and everything. Shout out to Fox and Kit. Um, Celeste makes the best coffee. And the only thing that I have against them at this very moment is the paper straw thing. Uh, yes, I love biodegradable, but please like get your boss to change into the biodegradable um corn um straws so yeah but anyways about the shave gel so the this is supposed to be cushions a smooth shave basically i like the fact that they have like a little mammoth from the uh i want to say the bc era still because mammoths were around maybe 20 30 thousand years ago basically so what this product says, it foams into a rich lather that provides cushion and glide for the smooth shave. Aloe hydrates a nice, right? So warm water, wet base apply gel, pretty straightforward. And then what is this product that I have? So this is Harry's Post Shave Balm with Aloe. Um, I do know that a good portion of the products that I use have aloe in it. But like I said, it has to be a main ingredient for me to really break out. Um, so yeah, this is obviously a post-shave balm. So it's supposed to like, this you so you don't get razor burn or anything like that. And what is this? So I got the base wash with peppermint. Um, and it gently exfoliates um, the skin, um, removes impurities, feels fresh and cool. Get that deep, clean feeling. Your face will thank you. A little bit goes a long way. Apply to wet face, gently massage, rinse, use daily. Okay, pretty straightforward, like the other products. Um, everyone knows that my usual go-to is um, Jack Black Face Buff. So I'm going to... I'm gonna try, I'm gonna literally try this out and see how it goes, okay? And um, lastly, a face lotion, broad spectrum with SPF 15, hydrates and protects. So I'm actually glad that they came out with like a little product that, um, that is your face moisturizer. Um, I don't really like the word lotion. 
okay. Um, it usually just kind of means it's like watery or whatever. So we'll see. Hopefully this is something that um, will make my face feel hydrated. Okay, so yeah. With that being said, let's dive right into this whole get ready with me. So, first off, I'm gonna grab this package and whatnot. We're just gonna open this baby up and whatever. Jesus, this is made it really hard. Oh, wait. <laughs> It's like comes in at the bottom. Take some scissors. Okay. Cute little packaging right there. Comes out like this. Let the camera focus for a moment. Awesome. And if it didn't, oh well. that it comes in protected Ooh, so it has like a little rubber grip going on with this um I like the fact that the blade is already protected comes with a case for the razor so after let's just take this off after the razor is being used Awesome. So you don't nick yourself, cut yourself, whatever it may be. Uh, oh, and I like the fact that the this little thing, whatever, um, I guess it's like a case. Um, it has little holes, these little diagonal slits underneath. So it lets the water, excess moisture just come out of the, the razor blades, basically. That's, that's pretty hygienic right there. Comes with another one, won't fuss with that. Says, the little manual says open me. Um, let's just look, briefly look at it. Because to me, shaving is pretty straightforward. Thanks for not throwing this out. And of course, for choosing Harry's, we're here to do all we can to make your shaving experience smooth as possible. We hope you enjoy Harry's and appreciate your support. Jeff and Andy, the co-founders. Awesome. So from what I understand, that they wanted to make a somewhat high quality blade um, for shaving because we all know that, for instance, Gillette, my usual go-to. Jesus, those razor blades are so fucking expensive. Um, they are, I believe, I think like $16.99 or $24.99 just for four cartridges. Um, to me, I have always thought that that was pretty outrageous, to be honest. Um, when I was shaving my face a lot more when I was younger, now I don't and everything. But, uh, but yeah, you can go through cartridges pretty fast. I mean, like people say usually throw your used cartridge away after what, maybe um, one, two weeks or something, um, depending on how often you shave because the blades do wear down over time. So yeah, okay. We're just gonna get right into this, okay? Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to get a hot towel. Okay. Definitely gonna get a hot towel. I'm gonna moisten my face. I have my little bowl with me um, to definitely help with the process. I'm going to wash my face first. Okay, peppermint. Oh. God damn. Totally forgot. Probably has one of the sealant things. Oh, no. <laughs> Just kidding. 
Let's see. Gentle. Okay, swatch it. Hmm. Ooh, I really like the scent of it. has a nice cooling feel to it. I wish that the granules in here were a lot thicker. Because I like ex an exfoliant that really gets down into the skin. This is definitely, like it said, definitely more gentle. I think you know, like if you have sensitive skin, this is definitely the way to go. That is for sure. I don't know if I should be using a little more. Let's just see. Because I do like massaging the product into my beard as well. Because I want my to smell like the product. Okay, I'm gonna add a little more water to this. And now I'm gonna get a hot towel and I'll be right back warm let's just air that out don't feel like burning my face i'd say my face feels pretty moistened so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take the razor blade i'm gonna dip it in a little bowl of kind of somewhat hot water <clears throat> of course if you're in the bathroom you have a better advantage than i do so, toss that thing to the side, and let's get this gel, shape gel. Let's see what this is all about. Oh my god. You coming out? Ooh. Ooh, definitely smells very Gillette-like. Ooh, it's very frothy. The scent is not my favorite. I was looking for the actual shave cream, but Target was sold out of it, which I was so freaking disappointed. So yeah. With this product that's said to, I believe online it said to leave it on for a few minutes. I don't like leaving stuff on like that. So I'm gonna give this a whirl. So my first initial reaction is that it's not as soft as a glide that I would like because the Gillette Fusion and Mariana, I mean this this Harry's blade is a five blade I wish that this cushioned strip that white strip I wish it was lubricating my skin more I wish that this thing had a little more flexibility. Because what I like about that 
Mach 5 um, that it was well that's the original name that it was but now it's called Gillette Fusion or whatever um, I really like the the other one because with the handle it pivoted I think it's good for the price, that is for sure. Okay, so next I'm gonna get another hot towel and I will be right back. The other hot towel. bothering me. I definitely, the more it's set on my skin, the more, the, ple the more pleasant, um, it smelled. I really don't like the smell of, like, for instance, like the, some of the, the more sportier scents, like, from, like, Old Spice and some of the Gillette ones, like the sport ones. Oh my god, I can't stand the smell of that. It smells like sour sweat or something. And I'm just like, this is the, no, it doesn't go very well with the pheromones of people, in my opinion. It, it, I don't like the smell of that. But if you do like it, more power to you. Maybe your pheromones just smell completely different. But, you know, it reminds me of a gym, like, locker room. Like, it just, yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like the smell of it. Not attractive. Not cute. Okay, so the face is completely wiped off, toss that thing to the side. So what I am going to use now, okay, is this Post Shave Balm with Aloe. My face doesn't feel itchy, which is a good thing, because that's when I know that I probably shouldn't use the product, especially if it has aloe in it, because I usually react pretty quickly. So this is considered a bomb. I just opened the top of it. It looked, uh, let's see. Oh, it's really it's a really light scent. I really like that. It smells good. It's actually good to move your hands around so you can get a fuller scent, a grasp of the scent of a product. Hmm. We'll see how well this performs. Hmm. Oh yeah, see? If you look right here, when I was shaving right there, it missed the spot because of the, because like the gliding was a little rough on me. I'm gonna use the opposite side with the single blade. I don't want to irritate my skin more. Okay, good. I'm gonna get a smidge more of this. 
Um, feels a little heavy. Feels a little heavy. I want it to dry a lot quicker. Seems like a little really goes a long way. But like I said in my last video, in terms of getting ready with me, in terms of shaving, um, I usually use Clinique, especially if I'm shaving fairly often. Okay. My face feels really hydrated, and I like that. Um, I just wish that this was drying up a little faster. My face is a little tacky, if you can hear that. Okay, so I am using the Harry's Face Lotion Broad Spectrum SPF 15. Feels light, not greasy, dries quickly, apply daily. Well, I only apply um, a moisturizer with sunscreen once a day because I'm oily already as it is. So I would not personally suggest reapplying unless you are profusely sweating or you're working out, going back directly out in the sun or something totally different. But yeah, I usually would not apply daily. Let's have a ceiling cap. Let's see. Oh, this one does out of all of the others. Random. Put that back on. I wonder what this is supposed to smell like. Definitely has like a eucalyptus scent to it. I love the fact that it doesn't smell like sunscreen because I hate the smell of sunscreen. It's very light. Is it eucalyptus that I'm smelling in it? very light um peppermint oh yeah there is eucalyptus oh eucalyptus globulus leaf oh i love eucalyptus globulus it's a lot thicker it's a lot thicker than the regular eucalyptus oil that's what i love about it hmm. and there is caffeine so the caffeine um opens up the pores it energizes you it pretty much like Anytime you add caffeine, it's supposed to uplift and awaken the skin so it looks more lively. I'm patting this one more into my face. It's like the texture. The scent doesn't last very long, which is good. My face feels pretty hydrated. Um, so I'm not really going out much today, so I don't feel like there's a need to put more on. I love the fact that the little mammoth is everywhere. Like, literally, you open this, I mean, it's right there. If you can see that. I freaking love it. Um, I like their logo. I think the logo is really cool. Representing, like, a shaggy face. Certain areas of my face, I feel like that they... Need a little more hydration. Kind of slightly nicked myself with the blade. I'll be leaving early, um, not earlier. I'll be leaving around, what? Probably three for my meeting and everything. Um, going through my toiletry bag. Um, let me know if you guys want to see what's in my toiletry bag because I literally have every single damn thing that you can think of. So, um, with that being said, um, I guess that's the end of this review and get ready with me. Um, I'm, like, I'm gonna give my final thoughts on this product. Oh, God, see, that's one of the things I hate about 
things like that, um, like in these cans, I can't stand looking at that. That just drives me crazy. I just rather have something in a tube to squeeze it out, put it in a dish or something, and then go on from there. It's just I just feel like it's just more extra cleaning, but that's just a pet peeve of mine. But um my final thoughts on these products, okay? I will I will utilize them because I did buy them. Um I will see how my face feels over the next day or so. I'm going to shave my face once again with these same exact products. Probably, uh, what's today? Today's Thursday. Most likely on a Saturday um, because my face needs a rest. Um, I would say that this, that, um, this cartridge, okay, I like the feel of this, um, but I really would say this felt kind of rough for me. Um, I feel like the strip needs more lubrication. Um, I would say this is definitely kind of like a, like a one out of 10, I would say it's like a four or a five, okay? Um, now, in terms of this shave gel, okay, um, I really liked the scent of it. Um, I thought it was really, I thought it was really interesting. Um, I don't see anything right off the top of my head that really catches my attention that awakens the skin or anything. Um, I really like the scent of it. I like how it lathered. Um, maybe it does improve the way how the gel works, but I haven't tried the cream, so... Um, so yeah, Ugh, my cat is just making all this racket right now. Like, I wish it would stop. Um, but yeah, I wish that they would just maybe just improve the formula a little. I really do like creams a lot more because I feel like it has more cushion. So next time I will get a hold of the cr uh, shaving cream and I'll try that out in terms of um, a 1 out of 10 for this product right here. I'd probably give it a... I give it a six, honestly. I give it a six. Five or a six. I would say a six. Now, the post shave balm with aloe that relieves and soothes the skin. Now, this product, like I said, um, feels a little heavy, okay? I definitely feel like I have product on my face. I don't know if it's because I feel like it's more of a lotion than a balm because when I think of a balm I think of like beeswax or shea butter or something like that um something that's like kind of whipped and very and it emulsifies like literally emulsifies from a solid um into a more of like a thicker heavier coating um I feel like that this could have dried out a little faster I would say that I would give this out a 1 of 10 um one out of ten, I mean. Uh, I give it a, I give it a five. I give it a five. Now, on to the next product, the face wash with peppermint that gently exfoliates. Um, I would definitely say that I really loved the scent of it. I would use this more on a daily basis because it's um, because the granules in terms of exfoliating the face I feel like they could have been thicker but this is definitely something that I would use pretty often um, like every other day because it's so it's so much more gentle versus the Jack Black face buff I would only use this on the day that I was shaving my face basically um, because the granules are a lot thicker or if I was not shaving for like the next three or four days, I would shave my, I would use that, I would use that face buff product um, to exfoliate the skin and just clear out the clogged pores and also freshen up the beard even though I have like a five o'clock shadow going on, even though I have a beard. But yeah, I would definitely, like I said, I would give, I would use this. I definitely give this um, an eight, give this an eight. Now, in terms of the face lotion, okay, 
Um, I would call this more of a moisturizer than a lotion, but the texture of it definitely was more of a lotion. And there's um, SPF 15 in that, so that's really good for anti-aging. Um, I feel like it could use a little more SPF, but I don't know if it would necessarily change the way how the texture feels. Um, I would definitely give this um, a 6, a solid 6. Um, out of 10, um, I was not, you know, I'm not mad at it, I'm not mad at it. So overall, I definitely would recommend this product to people, not necessarily so much with the razor, okay, the cartridge, um, I felt like, like I said, felt like it was pretty rough. Um, with that being said, that is the end of this review. Thank you so much for tuning in with me, my little green birds, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. So, <clears throat> just a quick little wear test. It's been about 15, 20 minutes. Um, from what I could see is that it seems to feel kind of matte. I guess like I can say something like that in terms of the way how it feels on my face overall right now. It feels like it definitely has like a, it also looks like a matte finish with the products. Okay. Um, and the longer that I'm wearing uh, the products, basically, I definitely understand why that they said that um, I should apply daily because it's definitely a lotion, number one. So lotion is predominantly water. So it's more water-based. I shouldn't say predominantly water, but it is definitely water-based. So, so yeah, I mean, like my, my skin feels hydrated, but it, but I'm wondering when I'm out in the elements, uh, how it will wear. But yeah, that is, a, that, I'm just giving you my final thoughts right now, um, in terms of this. So once again, Thank you so much once again. Talk to you guys.